Okay, he could easily jump out there, couldn't he? Oh, no, no! <laughs> How? How did you do that? Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode eight. You already know that, though, right? Because you've watched every single episode. And we are back. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything new, anything different? Oh, well, then maybe. If we just turn around into the crocodile exhibit. Whoa, what's this? I've been a busy beaver. Oh, God, the pun. Oh, the pun. So we are back with our crocodiles. And you'll be glad to know that, um... He actually has decided to embrace the relationship that he really didn't want to have with Ambisha. <laughs> but he is here. I'm also a bit worried. He's like got scars on his face, but apparently he don't mind. That's what he's all about. I'm kind of wanting babies from him, but also at the same... Well, not from him. <laughs> I want him to make the babies. But for whatever reason, I think he gets stuck over the glass. I'm not too sure if he is or not. It also seems like the max population for these guys is two, so when they have babies, we've really gotta, we've really gotta keep an eye on them. But taking care of our animals, seeing if we can get any more babies, and actually talking about taking care of our animals, I've got a little surprise for you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's this? Who's this? <gasps> if it isn't Badra, Oh my god, is that you say? But Badru. Badru, we'll call him Madru. A new male who's actually four years old, just reached adulthood. Um, I mean, genes are kind of, I mean, they're not very good, but they're not bad. Um, also, he doesn't have a mate yet, so he's just getting to, oh god, can we yeah, just stick on him? He's also just getting to, oh, oh god, he's getting close to the camera. I'm actually stuck. I don't know why I'm stuck. Yeah, see, I'm stuck. <laughs> He's getting to know his exhibit. I'm assuming. Uh, oh, the little baby chico's covered in mud. Oh, bless her. <laughs> oh, God. She's phasing through. Can we not orbit? Oh, we can orbit. There we go. Oh, she's running around. She's covered in dirt. She's adorable. <laughs> oh, my God. So I wonder what she thinks. Um, but look, he's, he's just going straight in there. Hmm. Oh, they are adorable too. Pigs in mud. Oh, oh God, I thought there was mud. I thought they were, were playing in mud. That's what that sound effect was. You're probably going to have to say goodbye to um, Chiku. Oh, oh, oh God, they're coming in. Wow, they, they got that cleaned up super quick. We're probably going to have to say goodbye to Chiku <laughs> as a baby because it's almost time for her. She's 4.5 years old. She's almost going to become an adult. And then, I don't know. I don't know what we do. Maybe we, maybe Babu will be her mate and the mum, I'm not so sure. Um, maybe the mum, I, I can release to the wild. No! Uh, how old is she? She is 20 years old. You see Chiku there. Are you getting ready to, are you going to evolve? I kind of want to be here for Chiku's like an augurization of changing into an adult. The metamorphosis. Oh, she's making sounds. Ah. It's tiring. It must be tiring to be a pygmy hippo. It really must be. I'm not going to see it, am I? I'm going to go do something else. And she's going to just transform. Although, what is the male doing? Oh, the male is taking a plunge. How is he finding it? Is he okay with the social? The space is a little bit of an issue. Even though it's not, let's be fair. There's just some weird glitch going on in here. He's having a nice little swim. Uh... Oh, she's still on the one final little run from Chiku. She's gonna go play in the mud. <laughs> go play in the mud. Go on now. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to? You're just, you're just running about in it. <laughs> Maybe they don't have an animation. I'm sorry, I'm spending way too much time with her, but she's adorbs, okay? Totes adorbs. Oh, I feel like it's the only one I've really gotten attached to in here because she's so cute. She's running around all happy. Flamingos are doing okay. They have not died, although I do get a heart attack every time I come over here. And so should you, because I have... They just die, okay? They just flop over and die. Oh, no, he's moving. <gasps> Never mind. Ah. All right, I'd love to see a mating ritual with these guys, because... Oh, hold on, are they? Oh, you're hungry. Oh, okay, you're going for food. I was going to say, because they do this, like... Where they, like, vibrate their bodies and stuff. <gasps> I have also decided to completely customize this walkway. So we've got customized struts underneath. 
as you can see here, made up from logs. Pretty easy. You just make a, make the pattern twice or once, duplicate it, and you're done. A little bit more time consuming with this. However, oh, dude, look at you. Yeah, go on, jump in. Actually, this is really dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> they can easily jump in. Uh, maybe we need, we need to think about that just a little bit. She's tiny in comparison to him. He's huge. So we'll go and have a look at what has changed about the underwalk, underwalkway uh, exhibit. The reason why I haven't changed too much of this is just because I am heading away um, soon. So I don't have time to do too much to it. Yeah, go on. We'll add you. And oh, you hear the music? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm all about, yo. <laughs> So I'll add like a little dirt path. There, the dirt, the dirt's nicer. So what have I added or changed to this place to make it better? Well, I ended up not going for the classic roof. I decided to go for the modern because it just gave this nicer look to it. Um, I closed off this area. I added sort of, instead of having wooden struts, they all bend in. Uh, I added rocks to fill in the gap that's also there. Um... And as you can see here, there's just loads, um, loads of stuff. Oh, how much are you making? Yay! None. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Great. I hope people can get over here because apparently nobody is. Uh, so we're going to edit this today because I, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys liked uh, watching me edit the stuff and just work on the zoo. I kind of want to. <gasps> Your Chiku. Oh, there you go. You're an adult now. Are, are you okay? Oh, they're okay. Good. Three. They're fine. And Babu is the mate. <gasps> oh, is that's your mate, right? That's nope. No, she's going to see Mama. She's going to see Mama. But Babu's off going down there again. Bad Roo's off down there. Uh, what else have we got? Ostrich is on low welfare, probably because there's too many of. Them. Oh, they're stressed. Oh God, there's loads of them. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, I thought it was an albino. You can actually get albinos. But we just have too many bloody ostriches. They're too fertile. There's way too many of them. We're going social. Actually, they're okay. For whatever reason, they just are a little bit... Are you a baby? Oh, you are a baby. Oh, we got babies from everything. Okay, apparently they're fine. The great yellow pronghorn an antelope two alerts. Pronghorn barrier. No, I don't want to edit the barrier. I want to click on him. Oh, he's injured. No. I'm wondering if this is because they can climb up this area. So what I'm going to have to do is go in here. Construction. Animal has escaped. Oh, it's one of those blooming babies again. I don't know how they get up. I really don't. It's ridiculous. Okay, okay. So we're going to we're going to have to make some changes here. All right. It's 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 having to come to this but to stop them from climbing up cuz I'm assuming they're climbing up at the back here. We're going to have to go to some drastic measures. We're just going to have to move that down just a little bit. There. Oh, oh, oh God, I'm terrible at this. There we go. Now they've all got roofs. Now you can't escape. Ha ha, I win. Unless you can climb around the back. Oh God, we have 12 freaking ostriches. Okay, we're just going to have to sell a bunch. Um, is that Salim? Oh, Chatter. Uh, do you have the best genes? You're okay. You're okay. We'll move you back to the wild for 31. Oh, you're new. Okay, we'll keep you. We'll sell this one back to the wild. I'm not even thinking. Just let's get some. Uh, let's get some conservation credits. You know, you've got a lot of babies, so the babies will grow up. Don't worry. There we go. Awesome. Done and done. Can somebody please just like? Where do you go? Where did you go? I didn't I don't even know. I can't see. Oh, there you are. Oh, there. Yes, yes. Poop on the path. Fantastic. And there we go. Four lights. Uh, we also need lights on the inside. However, I still need to do the supports for this. And a railing. A railing would really help. There we go. I think if we just add... Something like this, just a low level fence. Hopefully, uh, it's also not. Oh no, wow, it is actually kind of straightforward. Wow, I'm impressed. In comes the bend. All right, now that we've got all those, we just control X that and then bring that. Or even, actually, if we brought it out a little bit. Oh, it looks good either way. Ooh, 
the tricky situation, the decisions. Uh, we'll keep it like that. I quite like that. I like that idea. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. More of this, please. But I could always add, like, I mean, in the dark, you can't really see. And that's something I might fix in the future. I like the idea of having it look like it's just, it's coming from the branch or something. Get in there. Eh, that'll do. That's all right. Whoop, whoop. I forgot the most important part. Whoop. No, where, where is it? Donations. We need donations. Where is that bloody bin? Nighttime and we've got a flipping. Oh, this, this, uh, this not so good, is it? Also, yep, we well, don't need to search for that. I would actually, oh my, oh, whoa. How come I'm low on money? Oh God, please. We need all the pennies you've got. Be generous. <laughs> oh God, it's winter. Oh God. Oh no. Crocodiles don't like to be cold. Low welfare. Um, I would highly suggest, oh, it's because there's so much snow. Yeah, find a, a heater. I should have a few heaters around here. Uh, let me just have a look at the heat map. Temperature. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few places that they can definitely, uh, and there's not really much for the crocodiles. He's gonna die. <laughs> He's cold blooded at the best of times. Oh, do you have the... The hippos are doing okay. Yeah, we got a hippo there and two of them. Yeah, I don't even know it's snowing outside. They got no idea. <gasps> and the flamingos? Flamingos have a heater in the middle here, I think. God, night and it's flipping snowing. Tell you what, these guys, credit to them. It's freezing cold and they're wearing t-shirts. I mean, I can't give better kudos to them than that. <laughs> 60 for that. And uh, how much have you got? 310. Oh God, we're losing money. Oh, we're losing money. Woo! I'm gonna have to look at the admissions and stuff. Oh, but at least we've researched classic theme. And at least we've researched all of those. Oh, wow, this is magical. Oh, this really is. Hold on, hold on. I know, I know, I don't have too much money. But I have to. I have to put more lamps. Look, look at this. Oh, it's glorious. You know what it is? I don't even have a donation in here. I am doing a terrible job of running this park. You know when it's so cold, you're just like, oh, please work, please work, because your, your fingers and your, your your fingernails are numb, your ends of your fingers, you're like, ah, oh, I can't feel it, just work. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. But we need a freaking donation box. Do we not even have donation boxes here? Oh my God. What? Hut, hut. Were they seeing all these African? Ah! Oh, it's only 50. Oh, thank God, it's only 50. Okay, this one, we can make like a zebra. So we make it all black and white, yeah. Although you can't really see that. So we got that one. We got the zebra. Um, we'll just duplicate that because we've got information boards here. Um, and we'll have another zebra one there. And, you know, just because you can't have too many donation boxes... We'll have one, you know, there. So maybe they don't walk in front of the bloody <laughs> fence and stuff. Okay, guys, fingers crossed. We make it through the winter. Oh, my God. Because we need it. No wonder I'd be making any money. I didn't even realize I didn't have donation boxes here. We've got this huge, amazing African exhibit with so many different things. And yet, not nothing. Not an oh, God, minus 722. Oh, no, we're, 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 income's up. Income's going up. Oh, please be donating. Please be donating. Uh, zero there? Okay. Uh, what about you? 373 and 220. Desert at night, you're playing that. Oh, we need more education. So if we go on here, education, educating guests. Now, the only one that actually has speakers talking to people is there. So I didn't, I didn't realize that, you know, these weren't enough. Oh God, not displaying any information. Oh, Lord, uh, no power. Oh, God, no power at all. Is there any power in this one as well? Oh, of course, <laughs> they fall, like, perfectly in between, like, a tiny stretch where there is no power. Oh, it's still pretty big. Oh, God, we got people underneath. Oh, fantastic. They do still go underneath. Oh, they're sitting on benches and everything. Oh, no, pro what are you protesting about now? Oh, American bison fighting, but they're kind of okay to be fighting. Let's have a look. Like, how many males to females are there? 
We got, oh my god, we got so many males. Just kind of ship them off to the wild, unfortunately. Right, okay, the aardvarks were worried, they were stressed, but now that we've done this, hopefully they won't be. Yes, I had a comment in my previous video telling me there's like a literal checky box that is like, which way do you want this to be? <laughs> I had no idea, so we're gonna go over to the pygmy hippos and we're gonna finally fix this glass issue. So we can just click on that, switch that the other way, click on this one, and we're golden! Yes! Now they've got their own privacy! Shouldn't that pronghorn antelope be inside its exhibit? Don't be stupid! That's Bambi! <laughs> Look at them go! Oh, are you kidding me? It's snowing again. Why is it snowing again? Do you have to snow again? I'm just slowly clawing back me money, and here you are. Low, oh, low, low welfare? Habitat? Oh, because it's all turning to snow. Yeah, don't like snow, do they? Oh god, don't don't come out of here. I just made I made this bit look really cool with like some lily pads as if they were getting caught up with the current of the water. Oh, it looks awesome! Zeriel Prongon Antelope is about to die of old age. Oh no! Well, at least she dies in the warm. I was, is there nothing I can do? She's she's just gonna die. Is she just is she just gonna go to sleep? Immunity 16%. She's had a few, had offspring, had offspring. Oh no. You only live for 10 years? No! No! Why, why did it flash white there all of a second? I've just been hit by some subliminal message. Feel bad. <laughs> this was your fault. Oh, there he goes. You know what? I'm keeping an eye on you. I don't know where you keep on like getting to. And stop pooping! You run out, you poop! I put you back in, you poop! Poop, poop, poop! Are the wildebeest? Oh, sorry, the bison okay with all the snow? Actually, yeah. <laughs> they're really not fussy. Snow, anything, they're all good. They'll lie in it. Oh, oh, these are the big cutie pies! I still have not yet got me friggin' um... Oh, is that another baby? Oh, <gasps> they've had another baby! They shouldn't be stressed anymore. Oh god, it's <gasps> it's a gold. What's the genetics? Oh, they're really good. Adejola. Adeola. Is it Ade Ad Adeloa? Adeloa? <laughs> Something like that. Okay, we're clawing back our money. To be fair, all of our admission goes on staff. So that's the thing. Oh my god, you've done it again. I really have to <laughs> Right, that's it. I'm gonna find out where Luca keeps- or Lucas keeps on getting out. Right, go on. Show me the way. Show me how you do this. Because right now, I'm inclined to believe you've got a copy of the door keys or something. Okay, so you go over here. Uh-huh. You go over here. You run around the outside. Uh-huh. He has no idea. No idea I'm following him. Oh, he goes up here. Oh, he's gonna scale that, isn't he? He's gonna scale this. He's just making a beeline. He's making a frig- Oh, of course he can just get on the roof, can't he? He's gonna jump. Is he? Oh, okay. Okay, he could easily jump out there, couldn't he? Oh my god. Oh, don't ever- Get him back in the angle. Okay, okay, okay. So we've, we've figured out what the problem is and how you're doing this. I think it could be easily fixed with some terrain. I think if we just make this rough, I just have to make it steep enough that he's not going to be able to get up. So you can, he can still have some fun. He can run around, do all he wants to do. But as long as it's just too bloody steep for him to do anything. Right. Okay, I'll be very surprised if he gets out now. I challenge him. I challenge him to get out now. <gasps> Whoa! When did this happen? When do we get little babies? Why did nobody tell me? Are they making baby noises? Oh, oh, oh. Did, 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 did the crocodile just have poop on its head? I think, I think the crocodile just had poop on its head. <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you. You are... 34 years old and you've had your first offspring. Are they are they decent? Oh god, that one's not very good. Immunity's good. And this one, immunity's 100%. Wow. Oh, have you escaped? I don't think you have. 
No, I can see you. I see you running. <laughs> Can't get out now, can you? No. <laughs> Got you. You know what we need to do? We need to make some sort of, um, almost like a, a, a croc feeding show. That would be so cool. So if we move this to about, ooh, we need it in the deep area though. I think this is probably going to be the best if we put it yeah, right about there. And there we got a little platform. Yes. Oh, so sorry. I placed this right in front of you. Your head's glitching out. What? What if I? What if I moved it a little bit? Would you be happy with that? I moved it that way. You know what? That's that's a bit too big. That's a bit too big. I love this enclosure. I spent ages on it, just getting everything. You wouldn't have thought right, but I really did. And I think it's turned out so good. This enclosure, the flamingo enclosure, and the pygmy hippo enclosure are the ones I think I'm most happy with. We've got a little area here where if they want to, I, I could put a heater there actually. That might make them go over there. And then this is a shallow area, um, sort of. I wanted the crocodile so when he comes here, it feels like he's sheltered completely sheltered. I probably could cover that with some stone. I might do that in the future. And then we'll do something with this. I'll finish this off, make it look a little bit more professional, and then add this viewing area over here as well. And it can sort of jut off from over this way. But yeah, I'm sorry we haven't really done too much in this video. We've stopped an escaping gazelle and we've actually had crocodile babies as well as given uh, Chiku... Oh, wait, what are, you, what are you doing? Why are you- oh, oh, are you up there because you're looking at the- <laughs> you're looking at the crocodile? That's not what this is supposed to be. But anyway, guys, it looks like finally we've gotten peace in this area. In fact, actually, the, the flamingos don't even have any donations. So the flamingos could be our highest earners. And yet, I don't even have any boxes for them. There you- oh, there you go. I just made that and they just chucked money in. A pink flamingo donation. And they've already made- $52 for just, you know, existing. Fabulous and pink, darling. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye